A lot of patients ask us what a deep plane facelift is. I'm a deep plane specialist and I know how to perform deep plane. I can perform some asplication. I can perform any kind of facelift in general. The way to approach faces is you look at them and you see how they age. The way that most people age is from deflation partially in their face, second from in their skin, third from drooping in their skin. These are three different things to attack. The majority of doctors in this country perform a facelift that was based originally upon a skin only lift. They modify this to actually pull the muscle under it as well. So they elevate the skin and now they tighten the muscle a little bit. This is called a smasplication lift. And there are a lot of variations to the smasplication lift. There are extended smas lifts where you can actually get more lifting of the smas, which is that thick tissue layer that's in the face. And there are lesser ones where you just do little tiny bits of plication. Those kind of lifts I don't do, and the reason is because I think that the face ages in more than just the skin. I feel that the skin, the fat, and the muscle all droop, so I try to lift them all back up. That's where you get into the world of deep plane face lifting. Deep plane face lifting goes under the muscle layer to try to lift the muscle, fat, and skin all together. Now, when most people tell you they do a deep plane lift, this means that they come elevate the skin to about here under the jawline over here they release and they get a better pull on the platysma which is the muscle that drapes across the neck some doctors extend it inferiorly some doctors extend it superiorly and some doctors extend it anteriorly this means that they actually treat different areas with a deep plane lift you can get a deep plane cheek lift deep plane mid face lift deep plane jawline lower neck and even the upper chest over here can get lifted from any kind of deep plane procedure. It can happen with smasplications, like very advanced ones as well, but it's a little harder to do. It's easier to get those lifts with a deep plane lift where your intent is to go release tension in the face and redrape it. So the difference for most people is that one of them occurs under the muscle layer to lift the muscle fat and skin, and the other one is under the skin layer just pulling the skin and the muscle separately. My advice is don't worry so much about the technique unless you don't know any good surgeons. If you don't know any surgeons and you don't have any referrals and you're really researching online, then you can research between deep plane and smasplication and see which one makes more sense to you and you can search doctors who do that. Otherwise, when you're looking for doctors, the thing that's going to give you the best answer is their before and after photos. And I say this about everything because someone who does a smasplication with fat grafting and several other things can get you a very, very good result. Someone who does deep plane can get you a good, very good result. But person A who does a deep plane might do a very, very different surgery than person B who does a deep plane. And the only way you're going to know the difference between all these different surgeries is by looking at the after photos and seeing who you feel comfortable with and what makes most sense to you.